Let's work on this interesting question. The question states, if A and B are independent events, with probability of A equal to 0.2 and probability of B equals to 0.6, then what is the probability of A or B occurring? Now here, if you recall your rule of addition, we saw a rule that stated probability of A or probability of B occurring is equals to probability of A plus probability of B. But this condition is only if the two events are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive events are dependent events. Thus, we cannot apply this formula. The other formula that the rule of addition has given us is probability of A or B occurring is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B occurring. So in order to use this formula, we need to find probability of A and B occurring. Now in order to solve for probability of A and B occurring, recall your multiplication law for independent events. The multiplication law for independent events stated, probability of A and B occurring is equals to probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. Now this we can find using this information right here. So let's go ahead and solve first for probability of A and B occurring equals to 0.2 multiplied by 0.6, which is equals to 0.12. Now, since we have found probability of A and B occurring, we can now find probability of A or B occurring. We can use the second formula, which we wrote down. So let's go ahead. Probability of A equals to 0 0.2 plus probability of B is 0 0.6 minus probability of A and B equals to 0.12. So the answer is 0.68. Just to recap what we just did, we had a question here that stated if A and B are independent events, probability of A equals to 0.2 and probability of B equals to 0.6. Then use this information to find probability of A or B occurring. We took a look at the rule of addition. We should not use this first formula because this is only for mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events are dependent events. So in order to solve this problem, we first found the probability of A and B occurring using the multiplication law for independent events. Once you found this information, we went back to the second formula here. We plugged in the values and we found that the probability of A or B occurring is 0.68.